what's up folks, I'm David Space. If you don't know I am, I don't give a damn, folks. The lesson we're gonna learn today is planning. See, in life, a lot of y'all don't plan shit. Now, it's good to be spontaneous, but motherfuckers, sometimes you gotta plan something in your life. Take this dude, for example. He woke up that morning and said to himself, Self, I want some money. Now, he had a couple of choices. A, he could actually go out and get an honest job. B, go to Santa Monica Boulevard around 10 o'clock at night, shake his booty, and see what happens. Or C, go into a shopping center and steal some old lady's purse. Guess which one he chose? That's right, C. Now, even though some of us may not agree with that plan, and some of us find it morally wrong, wrong. That's one thing I can admire about this dude. And this is what it is. That was it, did you see it? He executed his plan. Baby, that's kind of fucked up, yes it is. But, if this ignorant motherfucker can execute his plan, then some of you lazy motherfuckers can execute yours. Just because you sitting around the house, smoking weed and drinking, thinking about some great plan, doesn't make the ship actually happen. You actually have to get up and do something. You gotta execute your plan, like this man did. <laughs> oh, shit! Can a motherfucker get a replay? Cold-blooded. He got knocked the fudge out. No, literally, he, he knocked himself the fudge out. That glass was pretty thick. It wasn't like a wine glass. What have we learned today, folks? First of all, you can't just sit around. You gotta plan something in your life to get ahead. And then once you have that plan, you have to apply it and execute that plan in your life. And last but not least, you really need to think your whole motherfucking plan through, unlike this motherfucker. And of course, just because you have a plan and you try it, as you just saw, it doesn't mean that ship is going to work. But that's okay. Get back up on your feet and try something else like this dude did. Actually, he, he didn't get back up on his feet. Somebody else actually had to help him get back on his feet. Yeah. Him and his partner got away from now, but I'm pretty sure them dumb motherfuckers will get caught later on. So, in the comments with a video response, tell me, have you ever run into something in your life? I know a lot of you motherfuckers have, because I have, I've run into walls. My stepfather scared the fudge out of me one day in the house, and I turned around and ran right into a motherfucking wall. Cold-blooded. And I also remember playing tag in fudging sixth or seventh grade with Sean Higgins. After school, he was at his locker, I tagged him, I turned around and ran away and ran right into a motherfudging steel beam. You know what a motherfudging beam is? That's like a pole, a flagpole. Well, a beam is a giant pole. That's what a beam is. It was at the King's Academy. I hit that ship so hard, the beam went boom. And everybody turned and looked at me like, ooh, that equals no way bueno. Special shout out to my girl, Queen of Logic. Gotcha, girl. And my man Andy from the Lions Dance News does the best interviews on YouTube. Check his channel out. I gotta go. Stormy lady, stormy. Oh, y'all still watching? Get that camera out of my face, sucker. Hey, hey, listen to me. Whatever you do, don't move. He'll bite you in the penis.